Hey guys, what's good? We're back with another video. I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. Okay. So, y'all know I'm mad because I can't do the Cardi B curve with the R and rolling the R. I can't do that yet. But today's wig is brought to you by evilwigs.com. This is their um, virgin human hair custom. Well, I'm sorry. It's the custom color galaxy blue full lace virgin human hair with black roots. Y'all, this is one of my best wigs from their company like this is one of the ones i will grab to all the time i've been wearing this blue hair since i've um gotten it so i really really am so far in love with this unit um so basically i'm just you know transferring the hair i'm making it more presentable now i do guys show you guys here the beside beyond ozone bottle but it's actually fruities garnier their hair protective serum in that bottle that i use i'm just making the parting more flatter the closure part it's, it's a full lace wig so it's not just the closure part but you know i'm just saying that so you guys can follow along so i took that i placed it on the parting and then i just used my barrel curling iron and i think that's from ion and i just smoothed it down then i go on top of it with the fruit teas gardener hairspray and i lock that um I don't know what I was about to say, protect it in, and I just go in and just flat on that part. I feel like you have to do this part because there's a lot of flyaways in the wig. And you know, if you go to sleep in it, like I did the night before, it was just very like poofy up there. And I just, no. So after that, I took my hard brush in a previous clip and just, you know, put that on there. And then I went back in with my rat tongue comb, sprayed some fruit teas, Gardner hairspray, and you know, stuck down those flyaways. You guys can't see them from this angle there. I'll see in that, but you know, that's what I did. Um, so yeah, we're just doing some back curls. I don't know how you call it. I wanted something voluminous, but the density on the, the wig won't give you that much volume, but that's not a problem. This is a more natural wig. So if you guys are into thicker hair, you know, um, you may or may not like this hair, but y'all, it's bomb. So yeah, let me get into the hair details. The SKU is E8188. Hair color is gonna be number one T, same as picture. His hair type is 100% virgin human hair. Hair length is gonna be 22 inches. Hair density is 150%. The lace color is gonna be medium brown. Cap construction, cap-3A. Hairline is a pretty plucked hairline and the cap size is average. So I actually gotta say that this, for the wig being an average, it is definitely big head friendly for the size of an average. I had to go in and cut the uh, ear tabs off. Well, not the ear tabs, you know, a section of the frontal where your ears go to make it fit more promptly. So you guys, if you get an average, just know it's big head friendly in regards to that. Well, I think, you know, well, no, some of them can come right snug, but this one, you know, did the job. Um, I also do have a 15% off discount code for you lovely J-Dolls. In case you're trying to buy this wig, you want to save you a few dollars or so. So yeah, 15% off discount code would be also in the description section below, along with the details in regards to the hair that I just reviewed. In case you guys are just watching the video and ignoring me. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I love, love, love this color. This is like, like they said, it's a galaxy blue color and it's just bomb. Ever since I've been wearing it, I just been getting compliments. I love your hair color, blah, blah, blah. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is that wig. This is that wig. Now, one thing I could say that I really didn't like, that I did like and didn't like all at the same time was the density. I really feel like it was a little thin. You know, I feel like this hair is made to be worn straight because of the density. I feel like if you're going for a more voluminous look, you may have to make smaller curls or, you know, depending on what look you're going for, but, if it had a little bit more density on this unit, it would have been perfect, especially for the look I was trying to go for. But um, I really don't have anything bad to say. For the hairline, y'all know I always create my baby hairs. I cannot not do baby hairs because, you know, that's just my signature. I love baby hairs. Um, as far as the hairline, it is pre-plucked. Now, it can differ depending on what you like and what you don't like. If I was wearing a ponytail, I definitely would have went in more than what I did on the unit. But since I was just putting it down in front of my face as a middle part, it really doesn't matter. Um, I haven't had any tangling problems. Um, definitely, I was shocked that, that I did have any shedding. Um, the hair was very, very nice, very silky. It was just bomb.com, y'all. I just don't know. This is just my favorite wig, and it's just like, 
I, I don't know, and then fell in love all again. So yeah, here now I'm just brushing out the curls, you know, making sure they're going in a backward motion. I feel like I should have took my paddle brush to make it a little bit more flufflier, um, you know, more volume, that's the word I'm looking for. But in the end, it still came, came out pretty decent, you know? Um, <laughs> so yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. I really, really love this wig. Um, I hope I covered everything. But don't forget to check out the description section below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And without further ado, I will see you guys in my next video. All right, talk to you later. Bye guys.